very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so again i'm very happy and proud about our results in the premium forex signals group and if i'm not mistaken actually our results has improved more than 70 percent of winning ratio in signals since we started implementing the new system of using fibonacci along with the support and resistance and of course the uh, price action uh, everything has actually improved and thankfully our uh, results are really really very good right now uh, for the past month actually we managed to finish every single week in a very good uh, results and those who have been in our groups uh, for the past year they know the difference between the signals before march and after march uh, the improvement is amazing and thankfully we are finishing every single day in a very good profit so far uh, these are the signals that we have sent yesterday as you can see and we sent only three signals in the premium in the premium group and as we can see all of them have reached at least the take profit number one and today also look at that um some signals actually reached uh, sorry we had to close in a small loss but look at the losses i mean only 10 pips two pips 12 pips this is very easy to recover and very tiny small losses compared to the big profits that we have gained today 20 plus 30 and again 60 plus 50 so total about actually uh, more than 50 pips or 60 pips we have made today actually more than that more than 70 pips we have made today from our signals everything is going so well and uh, everything is going very well and i'm very happy about the results and again we are still receiving a lot of happy messages from the members who are actually enjoying the service so if, if, uh, of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video Con Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's now begin with the midweek analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, I'm very happy about my analysis for the Euro USD. It was so accurate. And as we can see, the pair has reversed exactly from the level where I have expected for, um, from it to reverse at 1.19594. And Euro USD is running, uh, actually has run in total of 120 pips of profit and currently running in 65 pips of profit. So now what's next with the Euro USD? Now, after seeing this strong bullish breakout candle, we can expect from the euro ust after this reversal to happen this price action usually indicates a, rever a bearish reversal that means that most likely the euro ust is gonna continue the fall all the way to revisit that broken resistance and if we look at the left we can see that the same level actually was a strong key support level if we move the line right here just like that we can see how it perfectly matches with that previous res resistance and by seeing the strong bullish momentum on the euro USD, most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise right after revisiting the same level of that previous support so in other words euro USD is going to be valid for the buy again after it falls for another 30 pips that being said i'm going to drag the buy order right here for those actually who have missed entering this signal from the weekly analysis or those who actually want to enter another signal and hopefully it's going to be profitable one as well uh, you can just you can just wait for the euro usd to fall all the way here to revisit that previous resistance to retesting it just try to wait for any confirmation actually right here uh, remember my friends i'm right now on the four hour time frame right here we can see that there was a pin bar that pin bar actually was really good and it conf it has confirmed that we can start buying the euro usd right from that level so we try to we just try to find something similar similar to that and wait for the price to fall all the way right here and wait to see any kind of price action such as a pin bar a doji or a reversed hammer or a hammer whatever indicates that the price has uh, faced a rejection in uh, breaking out from that resistance then you can start again buying the euro usd and we're gonna keep the same target as a take profit level so uh, if this signal has worked perfectly fine as well we can expect about 110 pips profit from this signal let me just uh, adjust the buy order level uh, it's gonna be on 1.19943 there goes your signal for the midweek analysis and hopefully it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits look at the pound usd the pound usd has also reversed exactly literally from the same level i have expected it from to reverse at and as we can see the reverse was really perfect and the pair has went all the way to the tech profit level straight away to the tech profit making 100 pips of profit and even exceeding it uh, all the way to the peak of the resistance right here so the total amount was about 194 pips of profit 
now for the pound usd as we can see the pound usd is still gonna fall for another 21 pips before it's gonna revisit that broken resistance which was previously a strong support as well and right here also and of course right here most likely these support levels are going to be respected again and as you can see the pair is still falling if i'm not mistaken it's going to reverse exactly at the previous tech profit level and it's going to continue the rise all the way until it hit the peak of the resistance again so that means that we can look for another 100 or 90 92 and 92 pips of, of profit from this deal again so for those who wish to enter the signal again let me just change the buy and the take profit is going to be exactly the new buy level and therefore let me just drag this uh, safe zone exactly like that just like that perfectly fine and of course the take profit level is going to be the peak of the resistance again so therefore there goes your our signal so the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 36 pips only meanwhile the profit is going to be 96 pips so the tech profit level will be on 1.40097 there goes your signal for the pound usd for this week and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits AUD USD. as you can see the AUD USD has also reversed perfectly and amazing on the exactly same level where I have mentioned that we can start buying the pair and it has went in total of 108 pips of profit before reversing currently running in just 18 pips only however that level still cannot be ignored on the AUD USD and we can still again buy the same uh, sorry buy the pair on exactly the same uh, level 0 0.77057 is going to be where we will buy again the AUD USD. So again, um, AUD USD signal, uh, nothing is changed. Uh, the pair seems like it's gonna make a, a third uh, test or third visit to the same level of the support. There we can start again buying the pair and let's keep the same take profit level. So uh, AUD USD didn't change and still the same as the last week. USD CAD. USD CAD sadly did not work at all very well not didn't work at all actually we can see that the pair has reversed at the beginning uh right here i think 19 yes right here the pair has reversed uh it fallen for about 52 pips before rises again and again fallen for another 44 pips before eventually continue the rise so the usd cad is still rising now let's uh, delete the old signal and let's analyze this chart to understand exactly where the pair is, is going to if you remember my friends from the last week i said something to you i told you that this is one of the ugliest charts you can ever find when you see the market just ranging like that you can see that it's not really moving in in a good momentum i mean this is not the momentum that we are looking for this is like one of the ugliest charts you can see compare this with the pound usd for example at least the pound or no, actually that's not a good example compared to the euro usd in the euro usd you can see the momentum you can notice how the pair is moving you can see the clear movement respecting support and resistance and everything is very clear meanwhile if you go to the usd cad it's ew it's just like what the hell am i doing i can just place sell here and i'm gonna be in profit anyway i can place buy here and gonna be in profit anyway so it's just not, not the kind of chart that you really want you want to trade on however still the pair actually respecting support and resistance levels if you draw here a support line you can see that eventually even with that with this big mess we can see that this this uh, key support level has been actually respected several times it was here a resistance and here actually it actually it wasn't being respected at all right here the market just kept ranging um you can see that here it was a support here actually it was a resistance and even right here and here it was a resistance and even right here even the market actually has went uh, uh for 53 pips above that level but that doesn't hide the truth that this uh, resistance zone is actually quite strong and actually we need to draw it as a support zone instead of resistance zone if you draw the zone right now it's actually more clear so we can tell that the usd cad has actually failed to break out from that resistance zone several times now the problem is right now we are on the peak of that resistance compare this candle this strong bullish candle with the other candles right here so let's cut the usd cad in two parts this part and this part this momentum is the strongest one actually ever to, uh, to, to, to attempt to break out from the resistance at 1.26084.
So by seeing this momentum right here, we can assume that the USD CAD is actually gonna eventually manage to break out from that long-term support, uh, sorry, uh, resistance zone and actually gonna continue the rise. Then we have the chance to start again buying the USD CAD once it visits uh, or revisit that previous resistance, retesting it, and after that we can start again buying the pair. So USD CAD actually, guys, this signal this week is gonna be different because we are not really sure what will gonna happen with the pair. So all what we can do about the USD CAD is wait for the breakout to happen. Let me just be sure. Uh, about where exactly we can expect from uh, the resistance actually to be breaking out from and we can say that by looking at the previous levels of the support this was the strongest level of the support exactly right here yes look at that yes exactly perfect 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 this is very yes this is very accurate so in other words um way to see a bullish breakout candle appears above that resistance level and after that we can buy at the retest of the broken resistance so in other words we have to wait for the usd cat to rise again and fall in all and fall all the way retesting the broken resistance and right here only we can start buying the pair not before that please don't buy the pair right now um i'm worried that some some members i'm, I'm sure some followers they are just skipping the whole video and just uh, writing down the signals sadly they will for sure miss this opportunity uh, or actually they will misunderstand the signal um, it's actually their fault not mine so okay let me let me just make it clear for everyone buy at retest buy at retest at 1.26289 and of course if that happens we can expect from the USD cat to continue the rise all the way till it hit the peak of the resistance at 1.27373 which is going to be almost 110 pips hopefully going to be in a good profit and of course for the stop loss, or the, so not the stop loss, I mean the safe zone, it will be ranging for about 50 pips only in that support zone right here. So therefore, um, the take profit level will be 1.27373. There goes your signal for the USD cut for this midweek and hopefully it's also going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's now take a look at the USD JPY. Okay, the USD GPY has, has actually went all the way straight to the tech profit level without re re uh, sorry, without touching our sell level. Therefore, uh, the prediction was right as a direction only. But however, the pair did not reach the sell level. Whatever. Uh, if we now look at the daily chart, we can notice that right here um, on the USD GPY, we had right here a strong bearish breakout candle from that long term support. Let me just draw a line here so it will be more obvious exactly like that so what we can notice right here my friends that we had here a strong support level or a strong key support level on daily charts and we can see that the usd gpy today has actually retested that broken support level indicates that the pressure from the sellers is actually stronger than the buyers and most likely usd gpy is going to continue the fall only if this candle is actually going to close like that now, but from reading the price action, my, I have to tell you something, my friends. We are right now on the daily chart, and this candle still has three hours till the closure time. Now, if this candle actually going to close like this with, with bigger body, most likely that means that the pair is actually going to continue or actually is going to make a bullish reversal because this price action usually indicates a strong bullish reversal. However, if this candle has actually closed as a red bar, However, if this bar is going to close as the red one, if it's red, that most likely means that the pair is going to continue in the fall. So we after, after analyzing the, uh, the potential direction on the uh, daily chart, let's now move to the four hour time frame. Now, at the, if you, if you, uh, now after looking at the four hour time frame, uh, just remember what I just told you. Remember what I just told you, my friends. This is the price action that usually indicates a continuation in the bearish momentum. If you see the candle has closed like that, and it, this this kind this these three candles usually indicates a bearish momentum. Therefore, we can see that the pair has already uh, has rose already here, or actually has risen all the, all the way right here, retesting that broken support level, and right now it's in a very strong bearish momentum. Now, what we can do? We can just wait for the pair to revisit that level again and selling the USD GPY again after it rises for another 28 
pips so this is actually a resistance number one and we are just hoping to have a better entry by waiting for the pair to rise and again for 28 pips and we can sell the, the pair uh, at the second attempt of the resistance or what we call resistance number two that being said USDGPY is going to be good for the short at 108.426 and the safe zone of course will be ranging just right here in, uh, till that previous support level so it's going to be for about 54 pips which is really fair enough and if in case we started shorting the USDGPY right here the target if we look at the left we can see that right here we had the nearest support to our entry right here look at my mouse cursor just this is the nearest support to our entry so that's gonna be about 110 pips hopefully gonna be a very good profit so therefore take profit on 107.353 there goes your signal for the usd gpy for this midweek and hopefully it's gonna be a good one and hopefully we'll make good profits out of it usdchf the USDCHF has also been a perfect, perfect signal, just like the, the pound USD and the euro USD. It has reversed exactly at 0.92126, and it has went all the way straight to the take profit level in just one, actually in just four hours, in just one candle. It went down for 73 bips. Now, what's happening with the USDCHF? We can see that the take profit level was a previously a strong support, and we consider this as a support number one and the market has reversed exactly at support number two of course that was the reason i have chosen this level to be the tech profit because i know but that most likely the market will reverse at the second attempt of the support however what we are seeing right now is simply a pullback or a pivot point we can see that right here we had this strong support level and the market has actually made this strong bearish breakout candle most likely the USDCHF is going is to continue to rise retesting that broken support level and if we look carefully the same level was also a resistance so most likely that resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance and again the USDCHF is actually going to continue the fall this time our target will be that previous support because right here we have here a support number one and the target is going to be when the market revisits that's the same level to create support number two so the setup is just repeating itself honestly that being said USDCHF will be good for the short right from that level exactly right here after it, after it rises for another um, 17, 18 pips only, and then we can start shorting it. So therefore, sell the USDCHF at 0 0.9, 0 0.9, um, And let's keep the same safe zone, of course, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Just like that and the take profit level as i said before will be that support level right here so we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 140 pips hopefully gonna be a good profit therefore the take profit level 0 0.90387 hopefully it's gonna be a very good signal and hopefully we will make good profits out of it now let's take a look at the gold now as you can see the gold has reversed very close to my entry level and it reversed just 17 pips before it actually it actually hits uh hit our uh, buy level as 1761.63 however uh, if i'm not mistaken if we look at the daily chart we can see very clear my friends that this was a pr the breakout candle that was the peak of the resistance and right here the market actually has retested that broken resistance and actually that support level right here has actually kept its position as a support so most likely the market right here remember i am on the daily candles right now uh, we can see that right here we had this candle right here this candle was actually tricky for so many traders after they saw this candle they assumed that it looks like a pin bar or whatever and they thought that this is the sign that they can start shorting the gold because they thought that the gold is actually going to continue the fall all the way and actually this was one message i received from one uh, one of my friends on telegram he told me salah you have to send the signal to short the gold right now and i told them no there is no way right now i can send it and actually i was really sure about it and thankfully i was correct however we have to see what will gonna happen next maybe the gold is gonna fall later we are not sure yet but however 
If my analysis was correct, I assume that the gold will continue the rise and won't stop until it reaches that uh, target of uh, 1,805 1, before it makes any uh, another bearish uh, fall. That being said, we still look for the, op the opportunities to actually buy the gold. Now, the question is where we can start buying the gold again. Now, we need to look at these st the strongest support levels after this one that we have actually placed the buy order. Now, we can see that right here, the market has already created what seems like two attempts of that support, even though they are not equal, but yet the market actually has retested that support level two times already. So, the question is, where is right now the next strong support level where we can start again buying the gold? If we look at the left side, we can see that right here, let me, let me just delete this line here so it's not going to confuse anyone. If we look here, my friends, we can see that the pair has actually created here a strong support level. Look at that. Right here, exactly, at 1,774, uh, just about 35 pips far away from the current price. And if we look carefully, it was also a strong support right here, and right here as well, it was a strong support. Now, if we look also carefully here on the 4-hour time frame, let's move to the 1-hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, we can see that this was here a very strong support level, which has become also another resistance. But keep in mind, the bullish momentum is really strong right here. And once this market here has created a new resistance, that resistance didn't hold for one attempt only before finally being broken out from. And the market actually after making this support level and with this upper trend, it's obvious now that the market is actually going to continue the rise and we can wait for the market to revisit that same level of that previous support level. So that support right here, most likely is going to keep its position again as a support. And here is exactly where we can start again buying the gold. We always have to be very careful when we are trading the gold. The pair is moving very fast and it's so subjective to the news and the announcement. And so therefore, um, everything can happen when we are trading the gold. 1774.36 is going to be the level where we will start buying the gold and the, tar the safe zone will be ranging just below that support level. So let me just make it fully here. Exactly. So that support zone will be our safe zone, which is going to be ranging for about 112 pips. Meanwhile, the target, as I said before, will be 1,805.13. Uh, let me just be more accurate, just like that. Yes. So the target is going to be about 300 pips. Hopefully we're going to be in profit. Let me just make it, make it very simple. Take profit 1,805. No need to be so precise. And there goes your signals for this week for the gold and for all the spares. And I really hope uh, it's really going to be a very profitable profitable week. So far, it's very profitable for me personally. And I hope everyone is going to continue enjoying making profits during this great week. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for, for watching.